Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I feel that somebody here is really, 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 and I mean really into you. Like, I mean, obsessed with you. Like, in love, sexually, like the whole nine, like, you know, but they don't show it. You would not think that this person feels this way about you, okay? This is somebody who straight up wants to, like, jump your bones, but is not doing it, okay? Is not doing it. Um, I feel that even though this person is in love with you, they feel that the scales would be, um, like, there's something off. Either maybe, let's just say, I don't know, you're older than them, they're younger, there might be an age difference possibly, or um, it could be that maybe, you know, you make more money than them, or, you know, it, it could be looks-wise. Maybe you're just, you know, like, really hot and, you know, they're so-so, or they think they're so-so, you know, whatever it is, there's some type of confidence issue that is standing in this person's way, and they feel like you deserve better type of thing, okay, that you deserve better, but this person, make no mistake, does not get a moment's rest, they, they think, now, mind you guys, this could be somebody that you're currently with, so if you're dating somebody, okay, and, like, everything's going okay, but they're not, like, super passionate, or you don't really ever kind of know how this person feels, like, they're very held back, and you're, you might be thinking that maybe they're, like, emotionally withdrawn, or just maybe not emotionally available, you know, at the moment, you know, if this resonates with you, you'd be shocked to know what's going on behind closed doors with this person, okay? They see you like you're on a pedestal to them, okay? Um, but again, they don't show it. But as soon as this person sits down, you are all they think about, like nothing else, all right? So here we have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups talks about... Um, could be reconciliation, of course, but it could also mean going out on a date. It could mean having fun with somebody. It could be announcing, listen, I really want to be with you. Um, I want to take this to deeper waters. This could be a wedding proposal, okay? Um, you know, so take it as it resonates, but I feel that someone here definitely maybe loves spending time with you. They love um, your attention. They love having fun with you. Um, for some of you, they may love how you act when you're drunk, possibly. Um, for some of you, you may get a drunk, we'll see how this goes, but you may get a drunk text from this person um but ultimately like i feel like this person kind of like daydreams of marrying you like the day that they're going to propose because the three of cups talks about announcing to everybody listen we're getting married or listen we're together you know changing that facebook status or that instagram status so we have here you deserve love you are lovable what messages do we have here for the collective please all right fifth chakra. So fifth chakra is all about communication. Okay. Um, it's all about, you know, not just communication, because you could be talking to somebody and still have a block chakra, whereas what you want to say isn't coming out or it's not coming out the right way. Okay. So let's see here, spirit, what messages do we have for the collective? angels of the four directions so this is divinely guided this is your this is your guardian angels i feel that maybe is bringing this person to you to give you the love that you deserve or maybe this person wants to tell you uh and give you the love that you deserve but they don't know how to open up spirit what messages do we have here for the collective aptitude Okay, so this is somebody having the natural, it's like a natural ability to handle something, okay? And I feel like this person, it comes so easily for them to love you, but it's not easy for them to talk about it or to express it, okay? Let's see what we have here. So here we have the five of wands. So this is someone who's very emotionally conflicted. They could be jealous. They may have, they may feel like they're in competition, that you have other people, okay? Now, here we have the Four of Wands. So this could be a twin flame connection, definitely spiritual, okay? Definitely spiritual, definitely divinely guided. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy with the Nine of Cups. So their intuition is, okay, their intuition is saying that you are their wish fulfillment, but at the same time, they're not telling you. The High Priestess does not speak. 
Okay, the High Priestess does not speak. And another thing I'm getting here, because with this Four of Wands, it talks about stability. It talks about, you know, quote unquote, going steady or getting engaged, getting married. Okay, um, I feel like this person truly wants to come out and tell you, okay, with that High Priestess and that Five of Wands, you are everything that I want and I want to be with you. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, and the Three of Pentacles. This is someone that is manifesting, building a life with you, manifesting, building a solid foundation with you. But with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, I feel that this person wants to show you, they want to invest, they want to show you how much they have to give, but at the Five of Pentacles, maybe they have they have fear. You know, that Five of Pentacles talks about fear, maybe fear of being rejected, um, Oh, wait, no, no, guys, excuse me, excuse me, this is the Six of Pentacles. So this is the imbalance that I was talking about. I'm so sorry, that is the Six of Pentacles. So that's the imbalance that I was talking about. So you see, with this Five of Pentacles, this is someone being left out in the cold, ghosted, rejected, hurt, you know, and I feel like this person has this fear that you're going to turn them down or that if they open up to you, that you'll leave them, okay? So this could be someone that you're currently dating and they just have a fear of opening up to you and telling you, how much they feel for you because the scales are in balance. Maybe this person doesn't feel worthy of you. Maybe they feel that you deserve better than them. I don't know, you know, but in some way, shape or form, they may feel that you don't love that. It could even be love. Maybe they feel that you don't feel the same way. Maybe they feel that if they open up to you and tell you how they truly feel, how much they truly love you and how truly like, you know, you're their everything that you may get scared and back off because you don't feel the same way. So that might be a fear also. Now, here we have the Four of Pentacles, okay? So I feel that, you know, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So I feel on this person's side, this person is very caring, loving, kind, attentive. They're giving their heart. But I feel that, you know, with that Four of Pentacles, this person here may be contemplating holding back a little bit because this person is holding back, right? So here we have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian, Energy with Temperance. That's beautiful. Libra energy. So this is someone who is older, possibly doesn't have to be, but this is someone, I mean, when we put temperance, the queen of cups and the empress, this is like beautiful, high vibrational energy. This is love. This is caring. This is kindness. This is someone who's beautiful, gorgeous on their game. Okay. This is someone who, um, you know, like just gets up in the morning and is able to create. This could be someone who is, you know, pregnant or maybe a single mother possibly or a single father, but they're very patient, very kind, very loving, very healing type of energy. Okay. We've got the King of Cups here to the Queen of Cups now, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Eight of Wands. So this person here, which I feel like is you guys, okay? You guys may be water signs, doesn't have to be, but I feel like you feel like you've met your match. You feel like this is your person. You feel like you want to tell this person that, you know, you feel this soul connection, that you want to create with them, that you want to grow with them. But with the Seven of Cups and the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy, you're kind of confused here as to whether you should open up because this person here is totally blocked up. You know, the emperor is not exactly the most uh, fun, easygoing guy, right? You know, uh, and gender doesn't matter. That's not my point. My point is, is that the emperor is somebody who's got their boundaries up. They're very serious. They don't, they don't really like come. It's not Mr. Romantical. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the person that's on this side feels this twin flame connection. Mind you guys, we've got the emperor the Empress, and we have the Four of Wands on the board. So this is definitely divinely guided, possibly twin flame, soulmate. I mean, we have a true pair here, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups and the Empress to the Emperor. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? No wonder why this person here feels that strongly towards you, okay? But I feel like you are very confused. You're feeling like maybe you should start to hold back a little bit because this person is so shut off. This person is so shut off. So let's see what we have going on here. Um, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? Let's use these. No, no, no. Hold on. This is what happens when you have too many decks. At least I'll need to do this one. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, what messages do we have here for the collective? Clarity and guidance, love messages for the collective. Tell me about this five of wands. The ten of wands. Okay. Someone here is beating themselves up. Have you ever, like, over? think in your mind to the point that you're exhausted, that's where this person's at, okay? They, their thoughts are so, like, beating each other up that they're exhausted with that nine of wands. 
Tell me about this Four of Wands. Why do I feel like this is the Queen of Swords, but it's not? This is the Justice card. I see I saw the sword there, it threw me off for a second. This is the Justice card. So Libra energy. I feel that with the Justice card and that Four of Wands, this is somebody who who wants to quite literally propose. I mean, the Four of Wands is a wedding, and the Justice card is like the legal system. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody who is dying to straight up propose and say, I want to live my life with you. Tell me about the High Priestess. Guys, we got the High Priestess on top of the High Priestess. This person is petrified to open their mouth. I don't know why. Tell me about this High Priestess. The Ten of Swords. I feel like this person has experienced a lot of betrayal in their life, guys. Okay, whether you know about it or not, but your person has been hurt tremendously. There has been a time in their life where they have opened up to their person, truly opened up their heart to somebody, and they were betrayed severely. And that's why with the High Priestess on top of the High Priestess, this person, they see it as wise to shut the hell up and not open their mouth, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. So even though with the Nine of Cups, you are their wish fulfillment, they look like the Eight of Cups. They look like very emotionally disconnected, okay? Um, with the Four of Swords here and the Magician, I like I said, as soon as this person sits down, as soon as they sit down, they're praying, thinking, manifesting. They can't get you off their mind, okay? Virgo, Gemini energy here. They, they literally cannot get you off their mind. Tell me about that Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants to tell you, because you have to understand, the Three of Pentacles talks about um, building a solid foundation. In the traditional Rider Waite, it's, you know, a guy that built this beautiful arc with three pentacles in it. People are coming to praise him. So, you know, this is about putting your work, your time, and attention into building something that is beautiful, that is going to be successful. And with that Ace of Pentacles, this person here wants to tell you, I want to build a life with you. I want to do this with you. I want to create with you. You know what I'm saying? But that Five of Pentacles and that High Priestess on top of the High Priestess, yeah, the they're stalled they're waiting we've got piscean energy here and mind you the 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 hanged man waits and waits in sacrifice unhappily okay this is someone who is suffering because they're not speaking this is someone who is suffering because um they can't communicate they can't open their mouth to tell you how they feel tell me about the six of pentacles We've got the lover's card, Gemini energy. This is a perfect counterpart. This is a soulmate. This is um, possibly twin flame. But I feel here that with the six of pentacles and the, um, the, the lover's card, this person may feel like you have options. They may feel like you won't choose them. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And they choose to protect themselves in this way by being quiet, okay? They choose to protect themselves by their, their, they fear rejection. Tell me about the six, excuse me, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. <laughs> How funny is that? So remember, we had the Five of Wands for this person. So because your person is so in their head, now guys, mind you, this can be vice versa. It could be you that is completely, totally, and utterly in love with somebody, but you're not opening your mouth, okay, due to fear. So now this person is also conflicted, okay? With that Four of Pentacles, you know, should I hold back? Should I hold back my love with this Queen of Cups here? We have um, the Sun, Leo energy. Yeah, I feel that this person here wants to tell this person, listen, you make me very, very happy. Like, I feel like, you know, um, first of all, I feel like this Queen of Cups gives off a very healing energy. But I feel like, you know, this Queen of Cups wants to relay how happy they are in this connection. Tell me about this Empress the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like even though this person does show up as an emperor here, okay, for some reason they have some type of confidence issue that makes them feel that they are less than this empress. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. They are in love. They feel that it's a soulmate connection. Now, another thing I'm getting is that this empress may feel like they love more than this person. So you see, 
we've got two people here that feel like like this person feels like this person doesn't feel the same and now this empress is starting to feel like this emperor doesn't feel the same so there's no there's no communication here guys you guys aren't being honest with each other and that's the problem tell me about temperance we've got the seven of cups yeah you know see this this empress is just being patient because she's confused she has no idea what the hell is going on you understand page of swords aquarius gemini libra energy she's waiting for this emperor to come in and tell her the truth you know and guys gender doesn't matter tell me about the king of cups here we've got the three of wands all right this queen of cups wants to come in and tell this person you are you know everything that i could have possibly ever wanted everything i could possibly have ever dreamed of you're it you know this queen does want to open up tell me about this eight of wands we've got the ten of pentacles yeah someone here this queen wants to tell this emperor listen you are my ten of pentacles you're everything to me you are my world you are my wish fulfillment nine of cups how funny because we've got the nine of cups right here right look you guys are marrying each other with the same cards you guys are mirroring each other with the same cards. We've got the Five of Wands to the Five of Wands, the Nine of Cups to the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So this Empress is actually thinking that maybe, because this Emperor may be very good looking, very, um, very, you know, sexual, charismatic, funny. This Empress is actually thinking that this Emperor maybe has other sexual options, okay? But instead, we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. This Emperor is, in fact, very, very committed, very committed and wants to rush th this emperor actually wants to like rush in and jump this empress's bones okay aquarius gemini libra energy but they're staying very very still why i don't know like, <laughs> i don't know you know uh, but that's what's happening here so the challenge here is the eight of pentacles making the choice to work on this connection you guys have to make the choice to open up and work on this connection come together you know we've got the two of swords and the fool the two of swords and the fool so you have to understand the fool card it's kind of like for me in in this deck here the romance angels i'm sure you guys have seen that that card attraction right you know um you attract the romantic love by enjoying the moment fully so i feel that you guys are both taking this very light-hearted approach to this connection not really giving like full commitment kind of leaving everything on the fence not really looking at the future you know your eyes are tied there you know and see both of these are blind blindfolded both of these are blindfolded so you can't see what this person see you can't see what this person's feeling this person you know they say the eyes are the window to the soul and that just hit me for some reason maybe you and this person don't have good eye contact i don't know why that just hit me but you know i feel like you guys are not letting each other know what's in your souls and your heart you, you see how both of them are blindfolded you see that right the two of swords talks about you know protecting your heart not showing what's in your heart and it also talks about having to make a decision just not knowing what to do okay now guys this is so gorgeous this really is because we've got two people marrying each other and this is why we have the three of cups here you know who is going to stop lying to themselves here okay and make that decision to rush towards the other and really reconcile even though even though you're not separated in a way you are your souls have not united yet you haven't really emotionally connected yet you may stay together in this connection because you know something's there so it's like your souls recognize each other so you're staying but you guys are lying to each other you know what i'm saying like you want to rush towards each other with this knight of swords but you're turning your back and like not showing how you truly feel so really it's a lie you know you guys are lying to each other and with that three of cups you guys have to make that decision to come together with the star card here there's healing at hand this moving to more peaceful waters you know if somebody makes that decision so guys let's see what we have going on here because we have you know we're having we're getting a little bit of a crack in the foundation here because this empress this queen of cups and empress here is the same person this queen is kind of getting a little fed up because this queen wants to talk this empress wants to talk this empress wants to say listen i want you you understand so you know 
the the only thing that's holding this empress back is the uncertainty of this person maybe having other people in the picture because that's how this empress is feeling like maybe this emperor is seeing other people right because they're so disconnected so let's take this into an extended let's see if communication is going to open up here okay you guys have to have that natural ability to talk to each other like when you talk to each other it just needs to be natural it just needs to be flowing it needs to be open do you understand um and right now you guys are just very stuck in your fears you're stuck in whatever and i feel like this is divinely God this love was brought together to bring you the love that you deserve but if you guys don't get over that hump i don't know what's going to happen here because this queen is getting really confused okay so let's take it into the extended let's see um you know if this is going to come together if you guys are going to open up and what the outcome here is going to be all right i love you guys the link will be in the description box below for the extended and it will be in the um uh the comment section i love you guys i'll see you soon bye love you guys